Assessment started from Ishei, where a police divisional headquarters was raised. Not only this, two police armored personnel carrier and some other vehicles were burnt, while some shops close to the stations were not spared by the protesters. The team, led by the Commissioner of Police, Yaro Abutu, and other senior officers of the Oyo State Police Command, moved around the affected station and later visited the palace of Ashei of Ishei, Oba Abdugani Adekunle. Abutu thanked the monarch for his support for his men before, during, and after the crisis, adding that the outcome of the exercise will soon be announced by the authorities of the Nigerian police force. came to assess the level of destruction at the police station is saying today. And uh, after the assessment, we felt that it was important to stop over to pay our respect to your Royal Highness and to thank you equally for assisting the police in this community at the time of crisis. We have been great. And we acknowledge and thank your efforts and thank you seriously for what you have been able to do. We are equally aware that you are taking a lot of efforts to identify some of uh, the persons that did one or two things during the crisis and you are fully cooperating with the authority in that as well. And as we continue with our power of expression, we we'll make the details known to you and the general public in due course. Thank you very much and God bless you. On his part, the monarch decried the extent of the damage done to both public and private property by the protesters in Oyo State and beyond, stressing that necessary measures should be in place to prevent future occurrence. The violent damage, do we, do we think we can manage that crisis? Oh, this is so terrible. I, for five days, I could not sleep. Begging this young ones, you can. But then this is so big, they have I sincerely appeal to the NCC to send some social media usage. But they started this problem from whatever message they are sending, I call it the Facebook or Facebook or whatever you call it. Now, you know, this is spread like fire. Going on and on. The team thereafter moved to Obumashaw, where another police divisional headquarters was raised by the protesters, including the palace of Shaun of Obumashaw. In Ibadan, the Oyo State capital, the inspector general of police team visited the premises of Ojo, Alabebe, Bagi divisional police headquarters affected by the crisis, where he promised that the needful would be done. The public relations officer of the Oyo State Police Command, SP Ulubenga Fadeyi, speaks on the tour by the team. The team came headed by um, the Commissioner of Police, CP Yaru Abutu, another member of his entourage. They came into Oyo State Command and they assessed all the affected police divisions and hard posts. And um, to assess and to know the number of uh, casualties suffered by the Oyo State Command in terms of human and um, uh, facilities. They have, uh, we took them around, they assessed all the areas, both within and outside by the metropolis. They went to uh, where the central police station was going to be. Uh, we are part of it. Was affected. They were here within the metro, the other division, the Ebeda division, the other division, and um, some art pools also. And uh, they uh, checked to the see. They visited the families of all the affected police officers. We are part of this police officers who were uh, uh, affected, we lost them, and uh, they decided to commemorate and pass the Total General of Police a message to them. And I said that to uh, assess the level of damages done to the police stations here yeah, in terms of our harms that were carted the way, our properties that were destroyed, and to assess and to be able to know what and what were carted the way. The team has since moved to Osun State in continuation of its assignments from Ibadan. Only Ujo, Galaji TV.